gonna start off this vlog with a grocery haul. Have not done one in a really long time. So, hope you guys enjoy. We got some English muffins. I've been eating the crap out of these. I like to eat them with avocados in the morning. Um, avocado English muffin toast, whatever you wanna call it. It's really good. Um, I bought some toasted coconut vanilla. This stuff is really good. I haven't had it for a long time, but it's a good snack. Um, Parmesan cheese. We're going to do sausage pasta one night. So I got this sausage to do that. And then I also got an extra bag of cheese just to have on hand for whatever. Um, tonight we're going to have tacos. So I got some beef, ground beef for that. We got some cheddar cheese munchies. My husband wanted those for his lunch. I thought this looked good. Um, so I got this to put in salads. I'll let you guys know how it is because I've never tried it before. But hopefully it's good. Um, I got some more dragon fruit for smoothies and also mixed fruit. I'm trying to stay stocked on that because I want to start making smoothies again um, instead of coffee. <laughs> So, we'll see. I got chicken nuggets for Cole Allen. And then I got these brown and serve sausage patties to have. We got peas and carrots. This is a frozen. I'm also going to do like a chicken pot pie thing, I think. Because I've been craving that. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to do that in the crock pot one night. We got some Taco Bell. Uh, this is what I'm going to use tonight to make tacos. Seasoning. We got some of these fudge graham cookies and the fudge covered peanut butter cookies to stock up on cookies because we had none. Not that we need them, but we didn't have any. We like to have a treat every now and then. Light sour cream tonight for tacos and for whatever else. We got sugar, got some chicken broth. I like to use this for recipes a lot of the time, so I'll be using this tonight too. Um, I found that using this with your tacos instead of using the water gives it more flavor so I do like to do that um cheese balls for Cole he loves his cheese balls we got some this was a sweet kale chopped kid I don't know how it will be hopefully it'll be all right I don't know though and then we got some yogurt for my husband um I needed some butter sticks because I didn't have any of these it's nice to have some real butter and not just that margarine stuff um but the honey bears for cole we also got some granola this is my favorite kind it's really good if you haven't tried it um heavy whipping cream for recipe um, if you eat all your tacos maybe you can have one okay <laughs> i got some avocados three sweet potatoes we got some vanilla yogurt for cole two cans of sweet peas and I also got some brown minute rice because I love that stuff and that's everything and normally we spend about 100 bucks because that's mommy's chicken I gotta put it away I gotta put all this stuff away now all right so we're gonna get this stuff put away and then we're gonna cook dinner so just wanted to start off this video with a grocery haul but we're so happy to be home back to normal see I never thought I'd say that I'll probably be <laughs> saying something different in about a week or two good morning it is the next day. Actually, I think it's two days from when you guys saw the grocery haul, but it's Saturday. Um, I got ready today. I haven't got ready in a long time where I've done full face, full makeup, hair. <laughs> haven't worn my hair down forever because with our humidity here and um, any kind of moisture that gets to my hair, I don't look cute, so. But I'm going to try today to even. I brought a hair brit. Also a hair clip. Because I know I'm going to end up putting it up. Because it's going to be hot. And that's another thing. is I don't like wearing my hair down in the summer. Because I get too hot. But my hair is so long. So long. I don't remember the last time that it's been like. This long. But it's long. Which I'm glad. I didn't even know it was this long. Because I wear it up all the time. Um, so we're trying to decide what we're going to do today. We don't know. Cole's pushing his truck around. My husband got the yard mowed, you guys. The yard has not been mowed in like two months. At least it feels like it's been that long. I don't know. We finally got rain. I think I told you guys. Did I tell you guys? We got rain. So there's water in the river now. 
thankfully. Um, so yeah, it's morning. It's like 1030. We're trying to decide what we want to do. We don't know. Um, I don't know what this vlog is going to be, but I know I need to vlog and I haven't talked to you guys forever. Feels like since we've been back since Wednesday. Um, we haven't been doing anything. So that's another reason why I haven't videoed. Birds are enjoying their feeder. Might have to get another one. You go make me like a water cup. I need to make cold one. In case we're going bye byes. Um, I wanted to show you guys these seashells. So maybe we'll clean these seashells after a while and get them laid out. Let them dry on the picnic table. Um, that is something that I do want to do. We have a couple different bags. And I don't even know what all we have, guys. We have... See, we have a bag full of shells. So... We need to do that. The porch is a wreck. They need swept. There's dirt, grass... Um, just, I don't know. We did some deep cleaning yesterday, so I have a new video for you guys going up on the Real Clean Bee. If you haven't seen it, it should be up by now, by the time you see this video. So be sure to go check it out. But we did some end of summer cleaning. I cleaned the windows. I did the window sills on the outside. I haven't done underneath, like when you lift the window up to clean under there. But I did do the outside, and they look so much better. I even cleaned. Now, I did not film this yesterday, but I cleaned my fan. I cleaned around the doors. That was like something I didn't film, but I did do some other stuff in the video um, that was motivating, so hopefully you guys like it. But it felt weird filming a video after I was like gone for like a week of not filming. It did feel really strange to film, but it felt good to film. Like I missed filming and making content. So yeah, we need to go figure out what we're gonna do. Good morning guys, we're gonna try to finish this video today. I'm sorry that it's not very, <laughs> like we're not doing anything, but I just can't, like we haven't been doing anything since we got back from the beach. And I just don't really know what I wanna vlog. So be patient with me guys. It's gonna take me a little time to get back into the swing of stuff here with regular videos and vlogs because um, I just don't know what I wanna do. Um, vlogging wise um i don't know but last night i trimmed off some plants um off my plant over here i don't even know what this plant is let me know i think it's called like a prayer plant but that might not be the right term let me know if you guys know what it is um because i just like somebody whoever gave it to me which i can't remember if it was my grandma that gave it to me or if it was 
the people I work for. See, I just don't remember who gave me this. Um, so, anyways, I cut off because it was time to trim her. She was getting really long. She does amazing. She's really pretty easy to keep alive, too. So, I asked my friends if they wanted, like, a start of it, and they both said yes. So, I made them each a little jar here. Well, I want to get them some pots to plant it in. But I don't know how long it's going to take to get roots because I was planning on doing like a little, uh, um, but I got water in there and I've never done this before, but I watched a video last night on how to do it. So hopefully it'll turn out right. I don't know. Hopefully they'll get the little roots on there and then you plant them in the dirt or whatever in like a little pot until it gets bigger and then you probably need to replant it for a bigger pot. But Anyways, or I guess if you wanted to grow, you need to repot it. I don't really know, but anyways. Um, yeah. What else? Me and Cole were going to go out real quick and clean up the seashells. I thought we could do that this morning, so I need to get this bucket out here, fill it up with some water, and we're just going to rinse all the seashells and lay them out on the picnic table and look and see what we got, because we don't even know what we got. Come on, Oates. Oh my God, y'all. It feels so good out this morning. It is like kind of chilly. I like it. It feels like fall. It is chilly out here this morning. I love it. I should walk too because I need to get a walk in. I'm expecting it to be like this, but it's lovely today, at least right now. But I think this week is only supposed to be high. It's supposed to be like 80, so that's like perfect weather to me. Um... Mommy's got to go get a new battery. Put them in this water bucket here. Okay, we're letting Cole rinse them. <laughs> also, guys, it's like 7.30 in the morning just to give you guys, like, that's how early... We wake up. We woke up at 6.30, so we're going to get this done, and then we need to go have breakfast, and I got a video that I have to work on for you guys. I'm so behind, and also this video here that you guys are seeing, I'm hoping I can get up tomorrow um, because I don't know if I'm going to have time to get it done today because i got to do a cleaning video today for you guys, so. i put this in there. Oh, no. That one looked like it broke. Did it break, or was it already broke? All right, I'm gonna start laying these out. The shells that we found there's a lot of the like similarities between them but there's some different stuff um so yeah I've out of all the beaches that I've ever been to the Outer Banks is the one that I've found the most shells for sure um and that are easy to find seashells there and I think I read on my phone that it's because there's like a sandbar or something out along the Outer Banks that had, I guess, when the waves, like, uh, bring all the shells in from that or something, 
So that's why you can find shells really easily there is because there's something out away from the Outer Banks there that just has a lot of this shells, I guess. I don't know. But I have never found hardly any shells at any other beach that I've been to. But I've only been to a few different beaches. But um, out of the ones I've been to, this is the best one. So keep that in mind. If you guys love looking for seashells, definitely check out the Outer Banks. Because um, we found some really good ones. And then I really like these here. I think these are so pretty. And then these big ones obviously are really nice. Um, these like... These here are really, really nice, and they're whole, which is nice. And then this one's different. I like this because I feel like it's just different. But, yeah, I was holding out hope that I found a piece of sea glass. But, guys, I think it's just a piece of glass. I don't think it's sea glass. I uh, was trying to convince myself that it might be sea glass, but I really don't know. It was the only piece laying where I found it. And I, that's why I kind of thought maybe that's what it was. But I, I didn't see any other glass anywhere. So, but I'm not convinced <laughs> that it's sea glass. But I don't know. I kept it anyways. Um, so, yeah, this is our little seashell finding. I think we did pretty good. Cole also put some pieces in the bag when we was hunting. So, we just have some, like, little pieces. But I like the colors on these. And then this one here, I thought it had a cool collar to it. Um, see, there was another one there. Oh, I picked this one because of the purple. Because purple is my favorite color. It had some purple on it. But, yeah. So, that one's got some, like, fossils. Um, so, yeah. That's, we had fun looking for these together as a family. Um, we found all these, just the three of us, down uh, close to where Pea Island is. There was like a hill that was just covered with shells. And then even on the other side, there was tons of shells. And that's where we found most of these. So we didn't even have to go out in the water and like get them. They were just laying up on the sand. Basically like a sand <laughs> dune. So yeah, that was another thing that I really wanted to go check out was the sand dunes. But we didn't get to go do that because like I said, the weather was just not good, guys. If we would have had better better. Bleh, better weather it would have been better but we we had fun all right you ready to go eat breakfast all right i'm making oatmeal it is 11:30 now i got all my video work done which is a miracle i took a walk got my walk done it was so cool out i could not believe how cool it was guys it felt like fall it was amazing outside so i got that done cole's eating some leftover sausage pasta that i made the other night and i decided to go ahead and make some oatmeal for lunch just to have something that would keep me full we're gonna go visit my grandparents here when we get done with lunch and then i gotta post the cleaning video for you guys um i have this video edited up to this point so i'm hoping that i can get it posted tonight for you guys or like i said maybe even tomorrow uh morning or something so i can get it uploaded for y'all but let me know if you guys have tried this this is called the jif um, peanut butter and chocolate. It's really good, guys. I actually want to get some apples so I could, like, treat myself to that. But I've been having an acid reflux kind of flare this past week. And I'm a lot better now, thankfully. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. When I get flares, um, a girl has been messaging me on Instagram. I've been trying to, uh, I feel really bad for her because she's having, like, a lot of stuff like acid reflux and um, gastritis stuff. So I was trying to write her and tell her what I do, but I'm not a doctor either. So I feel like I need to say this because I don't know, it's kind of strange to give out advice on health stuff when I'm not like, you know, a medical person, but just talking from my own experience and what has helped me you know, I feel like it can be very beneficial to other people to at least maybe give it a try. It's not like I'm having anybody try anything dangerous. <laughs> but, um, so when I get flares, she was asking me if I use medication. And the answer to that is I do. Temporarily. I don't take it long term. Um, the only time that I took it long term was when I had, like, severe gastritis to where my 
like I could have probably had like a bleeding ulcer or something um, if I wouldn't have took care of that. And plus I was in so much pain. The only way to even get rid of that stomach pain that I was in was I had to take a Meprazole, which is acid reducing medication, which is not good for your body long term. But when you're having a flare, I recommend taking it um, just to kind of calm your stomach down a little bit so that way you're not so miserable and that way you can and but but you do have to make diet changes for temporarily and till all that heals in there and then once you're healed you can go back and resume like regular stuff but I do still recommend eating less processed food alcohol coffee just in general like I know what I can limit myself to as far as coffee and alcohol but sometimes I will get a flare and I did get a flare this past week um, I think my oatmeal's done <laughs> but I did get a flare and it sucked because I had it while I was on vacation but I did but I did have medicine though so I was I'm able done. to I'm still done. enjoy myself I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. good job good job was it good mm. did you like it <laughs> Cole ate a good bit of the sausage pasta that I made the other night. Guys, I had to use veggie rotini because that's all I had. And him and my husband, you can't even tell the difference. Like, there's no taste in the veggie rotini. So it's supposed to have, like, vegetables in it. And then the sausage that I used is actually turkey sausage. And it is so good. Like, you can't even tell. It's good. Thank you. You need something else to drink? Or are you done? Good job. Good. Thank you. High five. Did you get full? Okay. So, um, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to come on and chat with y'all for a minute and just tell you guys what I've been dealing with. And that's what I do anytime I get like a flare. Um, I'll take, my husband actually has prescription is what he has from the doctor because every once in a while he'll get heartburn and he'll take an Omeprazole and they're 20 milligrams. So they're not like you can get stronger doses, but I recommend starting with 20, especially if it's new to you and you don't have like severe stomach burning. Now, if you got the stomach burning, I recommend going to the doctor to get prescription omeprazole so you can get um because not even omeprazole might not even be what you might need your doctor is going to make that decision for you there's other brands and other different names of medication for uh to reduce acid not just omeprazole but omeprazole is what i've always taken because that's what my doctor gave to me and that's also what they gave my husband so you also just you know you got to keep in mind if you take other medicines that it doesn't interfere with anything that you're taking and stuff like that. So just be careful. But I just wanted to tell you guys what I do. And um, I find that I'm less miserable. Because if the one time that I really had it bad, and this was probably a couple years ago, I tried to do everything natural myself. And it was really hard to I was having the worst flare like I couldn't even drink water it was so bad the stuff was up in my throat my throat burned my throat was just I was miserable y'all and I think I mean I did pretty good for a while but it was hard and then I just kind of thought well I don't really see the harm in taking like a pill you know, every couple days until this calms down. And it works out well for me as long as you just don't take that medicine for a long period of time because it's going to do a lot of harm than good. So that's what I do. All right, I'm going to make me some oatmeal. Cole ate his lunch, which I'm glad. It's now about noon, so we're going to get ready to go after we eat. i got to brush my teeth, got to post this video, and then we're out the door to see my grandparents. I'm sure they'll be happy to see us today. But um, that might be the end of today's video. I hope that that's okay with you guys because I just don't know what else I'm going to film today. I'm not cooking dinner tonight because I did want to share like when I cook dinner and stuff. But I'm we're eating leftovers still. We're eating my sausage pasta that I made the other night. And we still have some and it's really good. So we're just going to eat it again tonight. Um, and 
I don't know, I'll have a new vlog again here in a couple of days and maybe it'll be a little bit more productive than this one was, but I hope you guys didn't mind just hanging out with me. Let me know what you guys wanna see on this channel or if you guys just like the way that I do the videos anyways. I know some of you guys don't care either way, but I like whenever I have a more productive video because I just feel like the videos are a little bit better. I don't know, but it just didn't happen this time. So thanks for being here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.